The National Park Service is warning drivers to watch out for elk on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Those large animals were first reintroduced 18 years ago to the Great Smoky Mountains back in 2001. And since then, the herd has grown and expanded outside the Smokies. But as WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny explains right now, scientists don't know exactly how many elk are in the mountains. People love to see large wild animals. They stand as the biggest beast in the Smokies. I don't think people really realize how big elk are. These large bull elk, they can weigh between 800 and 900 pounds. The National Park Service reintroduced elk to the Great Smoky Mountains in 2001 and 2002 and kept tabs on exactly how many animals were at Catalucci. You know, we brought in 52 elk from uh, Elk Island National Park and they have expanded out now to outside the park, searching for a good place to live. You might not think it'd be too hard to keep track of animals this big, but it is amazing how elk can seem to disappear as soon as they step into the woods. People will know how many elk we have. So the answer is we really don't know. Some people think we have 150 plus, whatever plus is. And that's a rough, gross count. Part of the problem is the methods for estimating elk were developed for other parts of the country. The techniques that are used in the West aren't really that feasible for in the East. It's really tough to try to do population determination here in the mountains. So now the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission is working to get an accurate measure of the elk population. With help from the National Park Service, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, and a graduate research project at the University of Tennessee. Techniques using uh, DNA and elk fecal pellets and different, different techniques. The study will take a few years. And the reason all this matters is governments have spent millions of dollars reintroducing this species that was wiped out 150 years ago. And you need a good headcount to maintain the open spaces and food these animals require in places where they won't become a nuisance or a danger. We put a lot of money into habitat work, so open these areas up, managing it, uh, putting something out there that's better for them to eat. So hopefully in two or three years we'll have a better feel of how many we have. In the Great Smoky Mountains, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. Flip.